to challenge Alpha Condor, Ballad of Fusion. Uh, I'm Aaron P., uh, and I'm here with Lemmy DeMay, who has been judging today and is taking a round off to commentate. Yeah, I'm taking a break for now, so no, no judgment to, for this round, <laughs> just comments. <laughs> Maybe judgy comments? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's why I do this, so I can be judgy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have Steve from Steve M. from Frog Squadron on the right-hand side. And he's got Captain Nim and Miranda Doni going on. So, on Captain Nim, he's got VI, TLT, uh, ion bombs with extra munitions, harpoon missiles, thermal detonators, trajectory simulator, guidance chips, genius, and havoc. So he only has the ion bombs? No, he's got ion bombs and thermal detonators. So he has both. He can shoot the bombs of both flavors. Yeah, so he, have, he has four, four bombs total. Yeah, all together. And then Miranda has TLT, uh, extra munitions, uh, harpoons, Sabine Wren, bomblet generator, and cluster mines thrown in. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want to walk us through Matthew's list? Yeah, sure. Okay, so Matthew, uh, he has a contract to scout. So he, he's playing SCOM. So, contracted scout with the uh, intel agent. Then you have uh, he has two lock revenant. I think they are both uh, they are both equal, mm -hmm. the same. So with dead eye, auto, auto blaster turret, extra munition, harpoons, and guardian ship. And one has uh, Dengar crew, and the other has Boba Fett crew. Wow, so I really like this list. May maybe he's gonna <laughs> destroy a TLT from <laughs> Nim or Miranda. I don't know. I, I hope we're gonna see a uh, Boba Fett. Uh, yeah, it. yeah, it'll be so pleasing if he can uh, Boba Fett away, say Miranda's bomblet. Yeah, so uh, I think I think there maybe there's gonna be a joust here. I'm not sure, but I don't know if uh, Steve won a joust against that because there's a lot of hit points. His bomb will do damage, but not not enough. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe he will just turn and try to, to drop bomb behind behind him. And well, I don't think there's a huge reason for Matthew to chase him closely uh, with those uh, with that dead eye and extra munitions and harpoons. He yeah. can shoot a couple of times. Yeah. Um, as long as you have them in the yard. Yep, with the focus. So and maybe we'll see a kind of an uh, of an alpha strike. So maybe one ship will go down super quick. Mm -hmm. Our two ship will go to super quick. Let's see. I mean, Nim and Miranda certainly have the firepower to do a lot of damage. Do they have enough firepower, though, to take a lock revenant off the board before it shoots? That's the question. Mm. I suppose if the trajectory simulator also gets bombs yeah, yeah, on I one, think, I think he can. He can remove one ship before he shoots. Absolutely. But if I was Matthew, I would be trying to put the contracted scout in the way yeah, definitely. to block shots. So both Nim and Miranda have guidance chips, yep. uh, not long-range scanners. So that means they have to get their, their target locks in the round right. that they shoot. Um, so no focus, yep. but there's the guidance chip to change one die. So yep. yeah. Statistically, that's about the same. Um, and of course, it's better for them, I guess, uh, if they're against lower PS ships as they are here, than higher PS ships. So, so far, Steve McLean is the uh, top-ranked, top-seeded yeah. player here today. Uh, the Defi Alpha Condor. Which I think we decided was the Alpha Condor Challenge in English. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Sorry, so. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid of like raising your voice a little yeah, bit right, if you have no to. Yeah, no problem. Um, I tend to alternate between shouting and whispering, so I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm not good at this myself. Okay, so we have a fast move from the scout, and we have, looks like, the. Uh, locks coming in a bit slower. Wow, look at those mods on Miranda and Nim. Yeah, you see the Miranda. It's it's, it's a K wing with the um, the the ship from the scum and villainy. It's I don't oh, yeah. can't remember the name. It's, it's Mist Hunter. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they he merged them together. So it's pretty nice. 
good sense of color too. It looks like a, an, uh, a ship from uh, the, the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. Yeah. War. Some World War II aesthetics yeah, going on there for sure. So I think Steve's gonna um, flank with Miranda, or or at least shoot it, shoot her harpoon from the from the side. Mm -hmm. uh, Nim just gonna will just go forward and send the bombs, harpoons. Yeah, Daryl of Matthew's squad to come right at him. I think he's gonna trade. He's gonna trade his Nim for uh, for maybe a lock revenant and some damage on whoever mm -hmm. he can. With the auto blaster turrets on both of the locks, an end game, if it were to end up, of uh, Nim versus the two locks with auto blasters might be one that Nim would lose. Um, just because the so long as it's all in tight at range one, they can shoot. Yeah. But they Nim can, move after, so if he barrel out of, of the range one bubble... That's true. Yeah. We'll see. But I think you're right. I think Miranda's going for a flank play here. Yeah, I think he's going to bank one left with Miranda. So for the, the next round, mm -hmm. he's going to be in a good position for, uh, for a harpoon. I don't know if Nim is going to turn right. Oh, so uh, Asa asks... Uh, this is Remy here, not uh, not Bruno, but maybe you can tell us Remy. What does Ballo Diffusion? Uh, it's mean? a it's the French na uh, it's the French name for a podcast. Ah, so okay. yeah, it's Balado Diffusion. Balado Diffusion. <laughs> well, there you go, Asa. Yeah, sometimes in French we come with some weird names. <laughs> They have cooler words in French. That's it. That's that's all. Just cooler words. So maybe Mathieu uh, is planning to, to try to, to block Miranda to um, ma make sure she, she won't be able to shoot that harpoon missile. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great position for the scout. And he's being cautious and patient with his locks. Yeah. Probably Mathieu know that if, if, if he um, dropped Miranda f first, He have he has more more chance to to win this game. Absolutely. Because if not, Miranda could just you know do her thing, run away, regen, and. Mm -hmm. Oh look at that! I guess that wasn't a bump. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I don't know. They're, they're like like one millimeter. <laughs> yeah. You're the head judge. Judge. So <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, go judge that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Miranda is just getting out of there. Okay. That's interesting. I thought she would three bank mm -hmm. or, um, as you said, do a one bank and set up for next round. They were both Yeah, gambles. well, St Steve is a first player for, for a reason, right? Yeah. So he's probably playing patiently with, with, with her list, with his list, sorry. Mm -hmm. So he tried for a target lock, looked like he failed. takes a token. I didn't see what that was. Yeah, Maybe I think it's a focus. Yeah. Sometimes when everybody has their own tokens, it gets so confusing. Yeah, well, Miranda only has three, three actions. That's true. Boost, target, lug, and focus. So. Oh, he is sending out the ion bomb. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea because with, with Nim ability, he will prevent that bomb from detonating. Mm -hmm. So for, for the next round, that ion bomb will be in the way of the contracted scout. Right. I'm pretty sure he turned he turn right with, with Nim. That's my guess. Yeah. Yeah, he has to avoid coming into close range with the scout because it will yeah. just start blocking him. For now, anyway, the scout is an amazing blocker. We'll yeah. see about 2.0. Like half its dial is red in 2.0. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's red pretty... barrel rolls. It only that, shoots from one that, out of four sides. Does he have the barrel again? Yeah, but it's red. It's red, okay. 
And there is no more white S loop also. No, that's gone. Uh, and if I remember correctly, the white S loop is now red and the other just gone. Yes. So it was really heavily nerfed for 2.0. Okay. So you're right. Oh, He's holding the bomb. That's good. That's a nice idea. Put mm -hmm. put the disable token on the on the bomb. So it looks like Steve's plan is to yeah kite ma make them make them cha chase mm -hmm. make uh, Mathieu chase uh, his ship and uh, probably will just drop bomb behind behind him TLT get out of heart. Mm -hmm. I hear TLT and bombs are an effective strategy. Yeah. So TLT on the scout, mm -hmm. abstracted. So it's going to be three dice versus three dice. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the right call, spending it yeah. there. So yeah. the scout takes no damage from that volley. Did he spend the lock? Uh, no. Okay. He can spend it now. Why did, why, did why, is he, why is he changing his eyeballs to hits? I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe that's why he's on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the But no, it's a it's a live war pourquoi que do you know why? Je pense que le, le score to settle uh, is, is on the contracted oh, scout. Um, uh, Matthew. The, the, the list from Matthew, does he, does he have a score to settle on the... Um, do you have the list? We don't have it written down. Uh, we don't. I think he changed two, two, two yeah, I yeah, for... We, we, scanned, we scanned the thing off the list, Yeah, so okay. We couldn't have missed anything. Okay. So I think it is there because it's zero points. Yeah. Yeah. Like your, your score to settle, you saw it? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah. there, the contracted scout has a score to settle and you put it on Nim, so that's why Nim changed to focus to, uh, to yeah. two crits. And it's a good example, too, of how score to settle can just hurt you. Yeah. Uh, it's a double edged uh, sword. Yeah. yeah, you have to choose someone when you set, when you, when you yeah. look at each other's lists. And uh, you have to. So, so uh, in this list, score to settle is very bad for Matsu because both ships have. TLT and you don't exactly. want to put the score to set on, on TLT. Yeah. So aside from pretending to forget, <laughs> you're in trouble. Which is of course bad. Kids yeah. don't don't cheat. So there's a rock in front of number two, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna bank left. Will be out of out of range from Nim from mm -hmm. for the TLT. Um, and Miranda, I'm pretty sure he's gonna turn right, so the scout's gonna be in big trouble. Because if you go forward, it's mm -hmm. gonna get ionized and probably double TLT. Yep. And uh, the revenant won't probably have any shots. Yep. So Matthews and I think he is in a very bad position. It's probably right. will do a hard one right with the um, the scout and a barrel right back to, to prevent the bombs. I don't know if he was going to do that, but at least at least this maneuver will will, will get the scout out from the, the, the If bomb. he does do the hard right uh, one, and he barrel rolls back and he isn't out of the range of the bomb, he's dead. Because he'll be double ionized and facing the board. Yeah. Oh, he's going to... Oh, so he... Tree bank. All right. So I think what this does is it forces... So maybe if you if you barrel right... Yeah. yeah, that's... Okay, so he's out of... Out of the bomb. Okay. But as you say, cool. he's he's going to get double TLT. Yeah, now he's, he's all alone. And he's going to have bomblet in his face. Yeah. And I'm not sure he got far enough away. He's been forced to break. Yeah. With his uh, with his guys, with his locks. Sometimes it turns out the worst thing you can do against bombs is uh, run away from them. Yeah. Sometimes the best thing to do is just take them. I don't know. We'll see if that's the case here, but I have been in situations where I decided, okay, I'm just going to take one round of bomblet, mm -hmm. and then I'm yeah. through. Yeah, and bomblet, or maybe you will 
you know, blank on the uh, on the red dice. Yeah. In this case, uh, Miranda's got Sabine, so... The second round, there was uh, Jean, Jean Coalier, mm -hmm. he, and he rolled six blanks with the... Against a bandlet, I, I know. I don't know if you if you were commenting on the on, yeah, on that yeah. game. So. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. I deeply hate bandlet, so anytime it fails to work well, <laughs> I'm I'm pleased. So I guess uh, Steve is trying to decide if he's out of harpoon range. I think he is. Well, if not out of range, out of arc. No, he's not going to oh, risk okay. it. He's so just a he... slam. Ooh. He's going to change his mind about a slam. Judge. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure he picked up the wrong template. He probably said bank and picked up the turn. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, we play for fun, so. I wonder if he turn left or just go forward. I don't know why. He, what he's thinking is he, is he thinking about dropping a bomb? I don't think it's a good idea. I don't see any reason for him at all to drop one of his bombs here. Oh, he could trajectory one forward. Yeah. Oh, he's using genius. Okay. Wow, that's going to be devastating. I think uh, the bomb will be out of range from the, of the scouts. Oh, or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be devastating. Yeah, see, seeing the map on the screen is not the same as seeing the map in real, no. so perspective are not the same. So probably a thermal, or maybe an ion, I don't know. Well, he's already got an ion that might actually affect the scout, so a thermal will yeah. just be a full package yeah. of uh, unhappiness. Thermal, yeah. yeah. Good idea. So the scout will be bombed to death. <laughs> the scout will take three to four damage. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. Close the TLT. Yeah. Oh. Nim will be stressed also, and uh, he will lose a shield. Right. Sorry? Uh, it's a thermal detonator this time. They're both on the table, and they're both going to go off, so... It's all good. I'm not sure if the, uh, the iron bomb is at range one. Uh, it's difficult to tell yeah. on the screen. I'm going to bet yes. Oh, it's in. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So one damage on the scout. Uh, no, no damage, just ion, unless he used Sabine. And he might as well, since it's the only yeah. target. So one shield from mm -hmm. Sabine, two dice from the bomblet. See if Matthew can get lucky. One hit. One hit. He didn't so, get unlucky. Yeah. And thermal. That's another one. So three damage, two iron. One stress. One stress. And he didn't attack yet, so. Uh, yeah. Bombs are cool, right? Allez voir Bruno. So Nim should be down to shield as well.
Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, target lock. Right. Much better. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Yes. So four hole left on the scout. Yep, half points. Yep. Oh, he forgot the score to settle. Ooh. Yay. It's a May, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have the, you might say, aspirational shot from the scout onto Noom. Yeah. Oh, he didn't forget it. Yeah. And uh, no. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't detonate it, though, so he still has an ion and a thermal light. So, so that was pretty devastating. I think Matthew. Mathieu, the only way, he, I think he's gonna, he, he will chase Miranda. Um, now, Miranda, will she go? Uh, so hard. I don't think she, she will go left because it will just get harpooned to death. Pretty sure it's gonna, he will just hard to right. Yeah. Uh, Nim, I don't know about Nim. Will he drop the, another bomb on the, the on the scout? I think so. Just to make sure he he's dead. So we've got four hull on the scout left. Uh, so I I agree with you. I think the two turn right is a good idea for Miranda. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Miranda will drop a bomb that uh, Nim will will prevent mm -hmm. the detonation. So it will be there for for next round against the against the against the revenant. Yeah. That's a good choice of move, maneuver for lock number two. Uh, if Miranda does do the... Uh, oh, wow. Okay. So no harpoon. No. But probably three attack dice, unmodify. Yeah. Miranda can also slam. So if she does the two turn yeah. and she doesn't like it, she can slam. Which is the really bad news for Matthew here. So drop the bomb blood. Yeah. Right. Infinite bombs. Nice call on the two turn. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure she will slam because if she, if uh, Steve does does not slam, uh, oh focus. Okay, so the revenant would just go f probably four forward next turn. And this will most likely be the other thermal yeah, detonator. Yeah, so it, it will kill the scout with with one bomb and TLT. Yep, that's a good call. Miranda might also have range to the scout. Just oh, maybe. Case. Oh, yeah. maybe this this is why he focused, maybe. Mm -hmm. And Steve must be confident that lock number three is not in range of Miranda. Yeah, absolutely. And there's the two bank to clear the stress. And since he has... Um, oh, he focused. That's a focus? Mm -hmm. Okay. I would have took a target lock because of the score to settle. Mm -hmm. He might be wor more worried about defense. Yeah, maybe. Uh, go see Bruno. Go voir Bruno. Huh? He's not there. So, another stress for the contracted scout. And Plus two damage, probably, from... Yep. So... Only two hull remain on that scout. 
And we have the first TLT oh, volley. Wow, that's, that's why I called the target lock. You, sh yeah. you should have. And three. Okay. The scout can't dodge that, so the yeah. scout is on one hull. Now, does Miranda has a shot? I think so. She's still unharmed, oh, isn't she? Wow. Wow, okay. This is bad for Matthew. Yeah. He has traded the scout for... Yeah, don't spend the focus. No, it's not worth it. Oh, he's spending it. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, he must really be confident that uh, lock number three doesn't have range. So first harpoon from whoops. Okay. First well, this harpoon guy didn't from focus, so he doesn't have a harpoon. Right. Number two right, barrel roll. Right, yeah. Barrel roll. That's right. Oh, oh geez. No okay. luck there. Uh, why? Ah, uh, Dangar. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, it was a good move. Yeah, yeah. But no luck, and there was no range for the, the harpoon. So now, now there's a bomblet in the way. Yep. And Matthew's down 26 points. This is rough. Yeah. Rough indeed. Super rough. Now, Nim is going to hard, hard two left. Question is, we'll be able to, to target lock one of the Revenant and launch the arc, one, of the, one of his harpoons. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, the Scourgs have to continue to come forward. Yeah. Because if they turn away, um, they just get TLT'd and get nothing in exchange. Yeah. So he has to go forward with those Skurgs. He can do one straights, uh, but then he has to encounter the bomb with the next round. Still, I think the one straights are the right call. One straight? No. Yeah. Maybe two from number three? Maybe a two straight? Yeah, okay. So he's, I think that'll be just outside of the bomblet. Three. I think she, she might won't. fly off the board. Can't quite tell. She can do bank one, that's for sure. Oh, good call. So yeah. I would have done two, two forward. Yeah. Just in case Nim turns in. Or even three and force and force T to pop the bomblet and only do damage on one ship. Good call, yeah. Okay, so Nim Nim uh, lost three shield, right? Okay. Someone from the comment tell, tell us that Nim uh, lost three shield total, so just got confirmation. Oh, okay. Great. So things are looking a little better for Matthew. <laughs> Depending upon what Nim does here. He does do the two turn. All right. Oh. So only number two is in range. Yeah. If if Mathieu did did a two or even three forward with number three, mm -hmm. he would have been in like a very very good position. He could even have he could even um, pop Nim from from the board. Yeah. But, yeah. 
That's bad. Still, hopefully this harpoon will hurt him. Okay, so he's so gonna hold that one. I think he's gonna. I think it's out. Of, it's out of range. I think. Or maybe not. Ah. Ooh. Okay. One crit. Mm -hmm. So lock number two goes down a shield. Yeah. Oh. Two shields on account of Sabine. Yeah, with Sabine. So. Yeah. I really quite like what uh, they previewed for Sabine crew and 2.0. Yeah, all of those uh, condition tokens. Yeah. Uh, there, there is what? One stress, one iron, one tractor beam, and one jam token. One jam, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so Nim launched an harpoon. Yep. Two hit, one crit. Oh. Oh, tough choice for Matthew. Yeah, well, if you spend the focus, you won't be able to launch it back. So he's oh. gonna have to take it. Yeah, I think he, I think he does. So that means yeah. all shields down on lock number two. And now, if uh, Miranda do a crit with the TLT, the harpoon condition will trigger. Yes. Which is not good. <laughs> nope. So this. Lock could be looking on being on two or yeah, three. Yeah, you, you won't die this turn, but the next next turn you will. Yeah. So. Well, I guess that shows you what a steep cliff it is that Matthew is trying to climb against this list, with uh, you know only a two thirds of his list left. Yeah, and Steve, uh, he, he really he is very good at managing the the range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen a lot of this that this game. Only one ship at a time could, could attack, so never Matthew, ma never Matthew has the opportunity opportunity to attack with with all of his three ships. Never, only one ship at a time. So. Yeah. And here we have the crit on the TLT. Yeah. And shield. And another hit. Some natties just on top. Why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Matthew will just shoot at Nim, try to remove him, get some points, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure his objective has changed at this point, too. Yeah. I'm just going to try to kill Nim. I don't think there's a question here that he should shoot at him. Yeah. Should be abstracted, I think. Maybe not. Alright, so. Harpoon on Nim. Oh! oh. So, one crit and two hit with the, uh, the focus. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, Dengar. Oh, wow. right. Nice. Forgot about Dengar. Well, that helps him. Yeah. So, obstructed, yeah. One of eight. So, two shield and a crit and a condition. It's not bad, all things considered. Yep. And the crit is... Mm. Not sure what that was. Yeah. It's an alternate art card, so... Mm -hmm. So there's one Ion Bomb remaining in Nim's arsenal. Mm -hmm. Miranda has infinite bombs. Yeah. Uh, and is at full health. And she hasn't shot her yeah. harpoons. So I think number three will just go one forward. Mm -hmm. Caught Nim. Yep. Uh, number two, maybe uh, just, I don't know, just one forward, maybe. Oh, so it direct it. So. Wow. So Nim is now at three hole, three hole left. 
he could try to block Nim with uh, number two. Yeah, that's not that's a well. If he block Nim, will he be in range of that bomblet there? He might. I think if I were Nim, I would be doing either a four so straight he, or a three back. He could, that Revenant can get killed by the bomb and the TLT from, from Miranda, so I don't think the block is a good idea. Yeah. He could three bank with number two and then barrel roll. Right. But you'd right. have to be very sure that he was going to get the block. Mm hmm. And there are a lot of things Nim can do here. He can go four straight, he can bank three, he can do one straight, he can two turn upboard. Well, that's not very good. Yeah. It's a two bank. Probably, like, like you said, maybe a bar roll and block, try to block. Uh... Oh no. Okay. That's... Oh yeah. He, have, uh, he has the auto blaster turret. Yep. You know? So that's why he doesn't really care. And if he has a focus, there's a better chance he can survive TLT. Fire. Yeah. And he's out of range of the bomb. Not a great chance. But, but Nim can launch the bomb, launch the last iron bomb forward. Yep. So he will be ironized and will, he, he will just go on the rock next turn. So. Yeah. All right. And Miranda turns in. Maybe you want to shoot that and harpoon here. Oh, mm -hmm. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> flip the board. <laughs> flip the board and then say, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I killed Miranda. <laughs> you remember back in round two, I killed her with all my ships. <laughs> so I'm in the lead. Uh, Alkali Divide asks, what I'm have I missed? I'm very surprised that you turned there. I, I, I would have banked. I would have just banked. Unless he was afraid to bump Nim. I don't know. So, uh, target lock on number three. Yep. Can't tell if uh, he's in the heart. He's going to use the last iron yeah, bomb last to iron deliver bomb. a damage with Sabine. Yeah. So, he, he mm -hmm. will uh, put that that revenant on the rock if, if he survives. Yeah. Which seems to be unlikely. I think we're going to see a one straight or something from Nim. Nope. Three bank. I think it was the three bank. I always call it before they actually pick up the template wow. and then I try okay. to figure it out. I'm so surprised. he didn't get the block. That's good news. It also means he probably doesn't want to let the ion bomb explode this round. Yeah, but by doing a three bank, he was pretty sure to, to uh, bomb mm -hmm. number two. So there was one less shot on, on him. So... That's a good call. Yeah. Oh, he is going to explode. Yeah. yeah. So Nim is going to be ironized also. Yeah. I guess he doesn't care. And one damage from Sabine. Yeah. I'm going to range two shot from Nim onto number three. And he gets two hits. Evade. And Baruch, number three, rolls an evade. Go, number three, go! And if number three kill Nim, or there's a crit there, mm -hmm. the harpoon condition will trigger, and number three is going to get one damage. So, so. Okay, TLT. Is he just using the TLT? Yeah. Yeah, because the target lock is on number three, so he he's attacking number two. Wow, oh. number two will live. Or, yeah, number two, yeah. Wow. Now, if he lives, will, will he shoot two harpoons on Miranda? Oh, that's hmm. a good question. I think he has to kill Nim, the other one. He spent a shield to try to get it through. Yeah. It's a crit. So that's going to go off and kill him. Oh! But it's going to deal a damage to really? him and I, number three. I thought he had two hole left. Oh, okay, so he, ki he killed that Revenant. Okay, now. Revenant, can can he pull four hit? Make sure he killed Nim? Nim is only on two now. 
so he can do it. Oh, he's on two. Because of the bump, uh, to the harpoon. Oh yeah. Oh, he it. was harpoon. Number two was harpoon. Yeah, and he explodes. Oh, okay. So he did one damage. Okay. Uh, that's a dead name. Yep. And so that's a damage. I don't know why he, he used the focus from from Matthew to change the <laughs> 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 to change his eyeball for an evade. <laughs> yeah. Matter of pride, maybe. Yeah. I didn't die quite I that where, hard. I don't know where there, there was a shield. Oh, probably uh, Miranda lost, lost a shield, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Super dead. All right. Mm -hmm. somehow sequencing. I thought you were keeping him alive somehow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a lot of blood on the ground in the space. Mm hmm. So we have, uh, I think Miranda might actually be down one more shield. Yeah. There we go. And so, you know, Miranda only drops bomblets, yeah. regenerates, uh, and has a TLT. Whereas Lock Revenant has one harpoon remaining, an auto blaster. He's got Boba Fett. Yeah. If Miranda turned right, she probably will hit the, the rock. Um, yep. And Maybe. she probably will be at range one of the Revenant. Mm -hmm. So the two blaster will, will just eat maybe one shield, two shield. Yeah. Unfortunately, the auto blaster doesn't help much against Miranda. Yeah. If she goes left, uh, she will get harpoon. Right. So if I was if I if I was Steve, I will just go right. Even if I go on the rock, I don't care. Bank one to the right? Yeah, uh, no, uh, hard two to the right. Oh, sorry, Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So probably the... I, I think the template will, will clip the rock, but mm -hmm. I think the, the ship will be okay. And even, even if she's on the rock, so... Better an auto blaster two hit than mm -hmm. uh, a uh, harpoon missile yeah. four hit. That's my guess. Yeah. If uh, Matthew has done a one straight, though... He could be in trouble. Yeah. But again, if he, if Mathieu do one straight and Miranda go left, she just, she will just slam away to get out out of arc. Mm -hmm. Pretty tough call here. Yep. This is the sort of round that makes X wing interesting. Yeah. Where you have to try to guess. Yeah. There are two choices your opponent yeah, has, exactly. and you've got to decide which one they are going to do. That's what that what's make the game so fun. Yeah, I think that's the best part of this game. Mm -hmm. Try to judge, uh, guess what the opponent will do. I think whichever way Miranda goes, she has to do one of her faster moves. If a two bank to the left... Oh, so you go for one forward. Yeah. You probably saw the, the hard two right coming. Yeah. So what is it? <laughs> Suspense. Oh, bank three. All right, right through the rock. Oh, so St Steve was... Was probably guessing a bank one or two from the revenant, and and you wish to to bump to bump it so 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 for no shot, no damage. Okay. So the good thing here is that Miranda has avoided the harpoon. Yeah. Bad news is it's four dice anyway. Yeah, but she will she she can attack. So. Right. She will probably regen, mm -hmm. attack two 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 dice regen. Yeah. Make and sure that Boba Fett uh, doesn't get through, and and rid rid her of it of her TLT. So one damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, Matthew really has so, to hope. So since there is only two dice, we we can uh, say that Miranda regen one shield. Yeah. 
Miranda is one of the worst ships in the game for <laughs> casters because every round you have to try to figure out what the heck she did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. not good. Dengar, no, no, Dengar is on the other ship. So. Unfortunately, Dengar is dead. Yeah. That uh, just wasn't yeah, enough. Yeah, of oh, course, one evade. Evade, so just a shield. Yeah. And now... One shield for nothing. Yeah, he has to turn around. You know, it might have been worth Matthew's while there to take a target lock, even if he didn't spend it this round. So in later yeah. rounds, he could uh, Talon roll. Mm-hmm. And uh, attempt to fire his missiles. And the, the bomblet... Doesn't the... Yep. Uh, yeah, two police officers just just got in. <laughs> one, one is an X-wing player, so oh, okay. <laughs> that's why. Okay, so he's been paid off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not. They're not there because we're making too too uh, too much noise. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so they cleared off the bomblet, uh, because without Nim there to hold it, it would have exploded. Ah, oh, right. So, the lock can freely Talon roll to the left, but Miranda can also two-turn and TLT him. So, the Talon roll, all right. Yeah. He has to do it, he yeah. has to turn around. I agree. There's no other choice. And uh, uh, Miranda will just go left, so... Yeah. Oh, really hard to. Yep. Nope, two bank. Okay. She's not in trouble because Revenant has nothing to to modify the dice and yeah. Maybe 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 she's even out of art, so. Even if Matthew was very lucky, she would come out of this round with yeah, two damage. Yeah, and she will probably regen one shield. So, yeah. so first TLT, regen. Mm -hmm. Spends the focus. The focus, so one hit. Only one. Yeah, spend the target lock, two hit. Oh. Nothing you can do about that. Nope. Another shield. And not in arc. Yeah. Easy mode from here. Yeah. Well, at least Matthew was able to kill Nim. Yeah. <laughs> So how long have you been playing uh, X-Wing, Remy? Uh, it's been like uh, almost five years from now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I think I, I, uh, I played the game. That I think the B-Wing was just coming out. Or, or maybe the B-Wing was coming out like maybe two or three months after I began to play. Mm -hmm. So you're old I'm, pre I'm pretty addict to this game from, yeah. from, 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 from Me that Me too. Time. It's very cool. I very, really like this game. And even more with the second edition that is coming in September. Yep. I'm very looking forward for. Me too. I heard a lot of people complaining about the price of, you know, uh, convert all of your ship. Mm -hmm. I think it's a mistake if you want to convert every ship you have. Yeah. Um, if you uh, if you buy the the core set and just one. Conver conversion kit. I don't know if you are a rebel player, just buy. Your yeah. And it's I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure for for like six months, there's so many ships, so many cards in just one conversion kit. So mm -hmm. it's not that that expensive. It's really not. I find the people who are complaining about it. Yeah, and haven't really done the math. And it's like in four months, you have time to to you know s spare some money and. Mm -hmm. Um. 
not that safe. I, I don't think it's safe. it's that expensive. No. And you know, most people who play tabletop board games do spend $100 a month yeah. on something. I mean, I know people who play uh, Armada, Destiny, and X-Wing all at the same time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, those people are already in for a serious amount of money. Exactly. So, Miranda's slammed away, forcing the Revenant to try to keep pace. Mm -hmm. um, and the Revenant can try. Now, Miranda has another harpoon, so she's probably thinking yeah. about swinging back out around in a round or two. I, I think, in fact, she she has her two, her two harpoons left. So oh, you're I, right. I, yeah. I don't think she, she fired one. <laughs> so there we go. Three bank. Slam three. Maybe want to to uh, to come back and face and launch uh, an Arpoon. I don't know. We've got a shieldless revenant against almost a full health Miranda, so she can't be worried about very much. Okay, so she just focuses. Yeah, so Miranda will just maybe R2 next turn, launch the harpoon. Oh! <laughs> Someone's heart was broken. Yeah, someone lost or, or someone wins. <laughs> it didn't sound like a good scream. <laughs> that sounds like somebody just rolled three blanks with yeah. their TIE Fighter Evade dice. When or, they had lined or, up a kill shot. Or roll uh, four, four blank uh, range one attacks. <laughs> yeah. So we got a bank one. So hard two, yeah. Target lock. Mm -hmm. And Steve has been absolutely confident about yeah, his yeah. engagement so far. Yeah, Miranda is full, so full life. Doesn't care about the harpoon. Yeah. She will trade. Yeah, do as much as damage as possible on that Revenant and then just TLT that ship to death. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think he spent one, one, one shield. He is. Ooh. Wow. He's so Nice. Confident. You know, Steve can kill that ship. I mean, it would have to blank out or get double damage on a crit. Oh! Target lock. Oh, oh guidance four. ship. Oh, guidance four ship. Right. Five hit. So he That's just has brutal. to roll paint. Oh, no. Our no. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> we, no. We missed the roll. <laughs> and it was a blank. Yeah. Wow. Kaboom.